All you need to filter your clay water is two buckets. So this video is kind of a companion video to my water systems video, where I taught you all my different systems for disposing of dirty clay water, dirty glaze water, and how I do my reclaim. I also made a little printout flowchart that went along with that video, and in that flowchart I mentioned the two bucket method. This is a really simple clay filtration system that I've been teaching potters in my studio for years, but I realized I never made a YouTube video about it. So here it is, this is the video. This is a really simple system that will replace the gravity filter that I was talking about in that video, or one of those sink traps that you hear potters talking about. I like this system because it's really easy and you really only need two buckets, which, I mean, you're a potter, so you probably already have two buckets. Before I show you how this works, I will say that this system is best for potty, potty hoppers, <laughs> potty hoppers. This system is working best for hobby potters or people who are not producing a ton of clay water. If you are throwing on the wheel and you're producing buckets and buckets of clay water, first you should use this clay water for reclaim. You should not actually be putting this clay water into your wastewater system. These are two separate systems and that in and of itself will greatly reduce your wastewater. So you should be reclaiming that clay instead. But secondly, maybe this is not for you. And in that case, you would want to use a gravity filter. That said, I have been testing out this system in my studio for a couple of months. And for my level of output, it actually works pretty good. Now, the main reason that this works for me is because I try my best to limit the amount of wastewater that I produce. All that's going in here is the waste from my cleaning bucket. And I only change that out once every couple of days and my mopping bucket. I have a completely separate system for my throwing water that goes into my reclaim system and that's going to be recycled. And if you want to learn more about that, you should check out the water systems video. Also, I want to remind you that you should not be disposing of your glaze water this way because at the end, the waste from the system we're going to be disposing of in our city trash where glaze water does not belong. I'm sounding a bit like a broken record here, but I'm going to say it again. If you want to learn about how to dispose of glaze water, check out the water systems video. It's a really good video, guys. There's a lot of good information in there. Okay, so let's get to how the system works. All you need are two buckets. So one I'll call the settling bucket and the other I'll call the waste bucket. And you also probably already have a cleaning bucket. This is where I produce the waste water. This is the bucket that I use to clean up any messes around the studio. It's full of clay. It's full of dust, it's full of dog hair, it's stuff that we don't want to be adding into our reclaim. So right now the settling bucket is empty, so I'm going to pour the entire cleaning bucket into the settling bucket. There's usually some stuff on the bottom that I gotta get out. Some chunks. Then I just let my settling bucket settle. <laughs> so how this works is the exact same principle as how a gravity filter system works. So the clay and the other solids fall to the bottom and the water rises to the top. So here I am in the future, actually the past, I recorded this part first, and my settling bucket has settled overnight. 12 hours is plenty of time for the clay to settle to the bottom and the water to rise to the top. So you can do this first thing in the morning when you're getting to work. Now I'm going to pour the clean water from my settling bucket down the sink drain, or in my case, another bucket. I am just using an extra cleaning bucket for this because I don't have a sink in my studio. If you have the luxury of a sink in your studio, you can go ahead and just pour this straight down the drain. But what I'm going to do is pour the water in here and then I can take it upstairs and pour it in my kitchen sink or even better pour it outside in the garden. You should just pour off the water that's at the very top here, leaving the wet sludge at the bottom uh, that has settled. There might be a couple of floaties in the water here. Uh, that's fine, but ideally the water is pretty clean. That's all sludge. That's not the bottom of the bucket, that's actually sludge. Next, we will pour the remaining sludge into our waste bucket. This bin is just here to collect waste. And sometimes it can be a little sticky. 
It's all right. So if that wasn't clear yet, this bucket is purely just to collect our trash and let it build up until we're ready to dispose of it in our local trash system. So I usually wait until I have about a bag's worth, so like half of a bucket, or sometimes I just clean it right away because it's really stinky. It just depends on what you wanna do. Depending on how much water you have going through this system, you might end up having a little bit of water that floats to the top even of your waste bucket. That's totally fine. What I do then is I just pour this back inside of my settling bucket and the process can kind of repeat itself. Basically with each bucket, it's going to get more and more dense of the actual waste that we can throw away the solids and less and less water. That's kind of the process. And if you notice, we're also mimicking how a gravity filter works as well. For disposing of your sludge, now I recommend you do the exact same thing that I recommend for gravity filters and sink traps. Just use your old clay bags. So what I like to do is I double bag the clay bags to make sure that there's no leakage. <laughs> you don't want that stuff to leak out. And then I use zip ties to close them. And then they just go in the local municipal trash system. Just make sure there's no glazes in here. You want to have your glazes in a separate system. If you do combine everything and put your glazes in here, you're going to need to take your sludge to the dump and have them dispose of it properly there. And it might cost you. I did it a couple times in Berlin with my glaze waste and it cost quite a lot. So now I prefer to dispose of my glaze waste internally. And yeah, you know where to find that information. So that's it for the two bucket system. There's not a ton to say, and I gotta say I love that because I love a simple system. The reason that I've been testing this out the last couple months is because I'm actually considering getting rid of my gravity filter. My gravity filter was a hugely essential part of my Berlin studio where there were many people working and there was a lot of water waste being made. But here, it's just me, and honestly, cleaning out that filter is kind of a pain. So I'm thinking about just switching over to this more simple system. So I'd say test out the system, you know, see if it works for you. If you feel like there's just so much water going through and you can't keep up, the system might not be enough. Perhaps consider reducing your water consumption first before taking the leap into purchasing or making your own gravity filter. Because this system works best when you have less water and having less water is better for all of us, your water bill, the environment, all that stuff. I personally make reducing my water consumption in the studio a priority, but that's just me. So that's it for me today. I will have the water systems video as well as the handy printable flowchart linked down in the description. Next week is going to be another throwdown video, so stay tuned for that. This is gonna be a really good one, guys. So I'll see you then. Bye, friends.